guys. It's Hope from Cedarholic Gardens again. I'm showing you this big box of seeds like this because I want you guys to know because um, someone made a comment that I took a lot of seeds. And I did. I took um, this tin full of seeds. And what I did, um, I didn't take these that you see here. And I filled this up to make the box fit better. I added this and all of these. <laughs> so those of you who are wanting to participate and thought I took everything, just let you know, I didn't. I probably <laughs> donated, oh goodness, at least three times as much as I um, took. I'm adding zinnias. I'm adding, these are mostly tomatoes and eggplant. Um, I took a few of these brown crowder peas. I told you I took seven or eight, and this is what's left. Um, I added all kinds of tomatoes. I have a bunch of seeds, as you all know, because I'm a little crazy about them. So I added a bunch of different types of squash. I added um, popsicle sticks for labeling. I added a pair of gloves. And this tin, if so, whoever gets it next, this is a great seed saving box. Um, plus, break it down for a second there, because... I also added a pack of these labels, and I don't know how many's in there. I ordered a thousand, and there was a bunch of these in the box. I think ten, so this might be a hundred labels, plus the, the incidental ones I added. I added some um, back into this box, the kind you get at the dollar store, about five of them. I added a pack of um, saving envelopes, and um, I can't think of what all else. I added some you know, cheapy seeds from Menards, but I added some good ones from Baker Creek and um, the big box stores. And this is a great collection here. Um, it's got onion, tomato, um, and I don't even know what else. It's five different varieties. <laughs> You'll have to get the box back and take a look if you've already been through. Yes, to get it here because in my opinion, as the Cedarholic, oh, I dropped that. And I want you guys definitely to see this. I added three packs of those. Those are from Botanical Interest, as you see. And these are good varieties for pollinators. It's not a lot of fluff. It's all seeds, particularly designed to encourage pollinators to your garden. So I think I added somewhere between three and five packs of these. So just so you know, there's a few seeds in there from other people, but... um. If you see all these plaid-looking envelopes, those are um, envelopes my friend Alicia from Just Living Channel made for me last year when she made my um, my um, um, my garden journal, and I'm using them to help share back different seeds so that um, if you haven't been in this exchange yet and you were thinking, oh God, ho took all the seeds, the seedaholic got us, well... No, she didn't. <laughs> um, this is this box is pretty full. I've probably got about 20 or 30 partial packs of things that were shared. But as you see, I've easily put 50 or better back in to the exchange so that there's lots and lots of stuff for everybody to enjoy. So don't feel discouraged that I got to it first because um, when it right now I'm the last person on the list. So it goes back to Mona. Mona at this channel, Butterflies Home and Garden. So, I'm setting you down for a second. You know I'm one-handed. So, um, that was my unboxing um, um, donation. And then, um, this um, is Deborah Christmas's channel. She and Mona collaborated to get this box going. And this is her video um, and her channel, so you can see what she unboxed and potentially contributed. And um, they had some issues going on and had to stop for a while. Both of them had some family issues. So Rob, the sapper gardener, um, took over, and that's how I got involved. I emailed him asking to get involved, and they kindly allowed me to do so. So I don't feel guilty about my box of seeds because from these boxes, 
of my collection, I've gone through and added tomatoes and squash and beans and I don't even know what all you guys. Just get in touch with Rob. Here's his channel again, Ession's Family Garden. Email him. He's got um, his email in his um, about page. Or if you want, you can email me and I will email him for you saying blah, blah, blah person is interested in being in this big box of seeds, seed swap with butter that was um, originated from a collaboration between Deborah and Mona. And um, things that I didn't need that I had doubles of I didn't touch. I added stuff that I hope you guys will find intriguing and interesting. I showed you what I took that I found intriguing and interesting. And I hope that everybody gets involved because we've all got different things to share. We think in different ways and we're all over the country. And so here I give you just a bit of perspective. If you were thinking, oh my gosh, the seed hall looks grabbed all the seeds. Uh, nope, nope, I didn't. Actually, pretty much I donated a bunch um, to make up for what I grabbed. I spent three days um, packaging and sorting so that I could make sure the book box was full when I sent it back to Mount Mona. So as I say, um, get in touch with uh, Mona or Rob. Um, if uh, you can't find their channels, even though I linked them just now, I will link them below. But if you can't find them, even though I'm linking them, please email me. My email is also in the my about page and I will actually put it, I'll drop it um, down below the video that I post this morning um, so that you can actually just see it right up front. No questions. I um, ask that you please um, be respectful. Um, don't send me a bunch of spam, coupons, anything like that, or I have never had to block anyone before. But be mindful. Don't send me anything that you wouldn't want to be sent yourself. This is strictly um, being put out there for purposes of this fantastic seed exchange. And just so you know, um, I put um, seeds that other people had shared that I were duplicates to me that I didn't want very many of. Um, and I filled this box about a third of the way. And it's about a 3 inch by 4 inch box. And I made sure that when I put it back together, it was full um, to the lid. And I found this for a dollar <laughs> at my um, garden club um, meeting this past Tuesday. And since Mona is getting it back and she's butterflies at home, I thought it was so appropriate to fill it and make sure it goes back into the seed exchange box for her. And because my intent is that she will keep it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys do decide to get involved because this is so much fun. I cannot even tell you. It's better than candy at Halloween. It's better than presents and gifts at Christmas because every single thing is a surprise and it lets me see how people think. I noticed a lot of people did not put what they um, donated. Um, things that I shared that I saved myself or I thought were interesting, I did put that it was donated by me. But a lot of things I just threw in and I couldn't do that for everything because as you see, there's just so many. I'd be sitting here till meh next Saturday to get it back out to you and I have to get it in the mail today. So thank you again for watching. As always, happy gardening, but most importantly, blessings of bounty and may your gardens and your life always bring you joy, inspiration, and abundance. Keep watching for the next installment on my channel, guys. And thank you as always for watching. God bless. Goodbye.